All right, guys, welcome back to Ground Zero Games in Tyler, Texas for more of the Star Wars LCG Regional of the 2014 season. I am Steven. And I'm Zach. And we have on our right Xavier or Javier? Ha Javier. Javier. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> Xavier, you, yes. You were at Javier. That tournament. Uh, and then Olivier on the left. So we are going to be watching these guys play, and I'm so happy already to see the scum objective... Uh, lineup right here. That's something that I was hoping I would see when the game first launched, and it's taken a while to get there, but now it seems that those things are happening. Yeah, in this pre-restricted format, uh, a lot of players were going to Scum. Scum was actually, I would say, 30 to 40 percent of the dark side decks on the day uh, were running pure Scum, and uh, you know, it's just kind of a... they're good at slowing the game down. Uh, which you need to do against the Freeholders. Yeah, now this is a, a pretty tame opening objective line for Olivier, it looks like. Yeah, it's probably not what you want. Um, I'm imagining he had, like, trust me, trust me, Anuit, and then um, Han's objective or something, something he really didn't didn't have a use for. Um, and, I mean, two trust me's is not the worst thing. Not the worst thing in the world, no. But it's really, it's not, it's not the best. It's not going to make for a two-minute game. Well, that may be a great thing. Uh, looks like Javier's looking to play Jabba. Which, man. I mean, he discarded one. All the Jabba's. And then two Jabba's on the mat. Jabba's everywhere. Javier has decided that Jabba is the jam. All right, so he's using both uh, of his Trandosh and Terrors all the way, which means he's going to only have two resources next turn. That could be an issue. Is Jabba going to do enough work to make that worth it? Yeah, I mean, Jabba can obviously focus himself to put a two cost in. Um, <laughs> Two cost or less unit into play or enhancement, but I don't know. That's interesting. Normally uh, with Scum, since Zuckus came out, payout makes that play actually not too terrible. Not too bad at all. Because yeah. he could draw into a payout and then just clear it up. But with two trust me's on the board, payout is likely to not happen. <laughs> payout becomes deal two damage to an opponent's objective. That's not terrible, right? Not terrible. And of course, undercover operative coming in for free. You gotta love that. And the old 2 2 resource up there. Is that the. Uh, this is the one that. Winning the Force Struggle. That is not that one. That I was not wish out it yet. Was. That was not out yet. Yeah, that would be way better. Um, I've been playing with that one. And that it, is it's the wild. one from the Millennium Falcon objective set, uh, which is, is very good to know. That means he's got a Twist, he's got a Falcon, he's got Cloud City operatives. Um, a surprise operative can be horrible, by the way. Many people have said that in many different instances, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars is not the only uh, the only entity to feel that. All right, Lando's coming in. He's obviously he saved two resources, but I imagine that's saving one for Lando's ability to push someone out. Uh, not exactly. Jabba certainly, I imagine, doesn't want to be pushed out of this thing. But you may as well make him spend a, uh, a resource, right? Yeah, I think I think Olivia's play here. If Jabba blocks, he'll push him out. Tactics down. Uh, the Gamorian Guard, and then get the balance of the force with the operative. We'll see if that, that's what happens or not, but I've got a feeling that that might be what we see. And so this edge battle, really, you don't really care too much about it, or you assume that you don't care too much about it. Well, they both have all black. Uh, <laughs> so, so it's Lando winning it actually is quite good then, yeah? Yeah. I mean, it just depends. I, I don't see why he doesn't just... Just boot him right now? Just boot him. Don't give him a chance to dump cards. That's all you're doing. We'll see. It looks, I feel like uh, there may be a couple of two cost units that Job is wanting to, uh, with only two resources open next turn, maybe you have a two cost in hand to throw out with Job and then a two cost to play. So maybe you won't chuck all those cards to the edge. Really didn't do much. All right, a three versus a two. That means Olivia gets the edge battle. He's going to go ahead and focus Jabba. Put a bounty on Lando, uh, which means Olivia is going to need to win a four struggle by three, or, or Lando's out of here. Wow. That's also a big move, too, knowing that Javier's only got two resources open. Uh, at this point, Lando can strike and put another tactics on Jabba, and he's not elite. So it's going to drastically slow the game down. Slow the game down, but got a nice bounty play off there. Yeah, he's pulling Lando out. Lando out. So it kind of stalemated him there. I like that opening. Yeah, I mean, the interesting part is 
now uh, Olivier is going to want to win an engagement by three uh, to not lose Lando. And that, that makes uh, Javi, or, uh, Olivier's play way less good than it could have been there. Because if Lando just strikes and then Olivier can take the force, that's actually not a bad turn. But Java says no. There's a bounty. All right, so the Gamorian Guard's blocking. Olivier passes, losing the guy. Um, I see a holding all the cards in Olivier's hand. I'm curious if he'll use it to get cards in hand to win that edge battle by three. Yep. He's trying to save Lando here. And if he can uh, put another tax on Jabba, both of Javier's units are locked down. Yep, that's a bummer. And doing now, some technically, he should have well. already removed the bounty if that was a three. Um, okay, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a reaction, so you don't want to wait till your next turn yeah. and then realize you forgot to trigger it. So really, the light side first turn, getting three damage on an objective is, is still on the lighter end of things here, and I think uh, Javier can appreciate that he at least slowed that down, although he spent so many resources to do it. Yeah, the interesting part of that move is... The fact that now both his units are locked down and he's only got two resources. No, well, there's a transition. And if if all he can do here is get out one unit, this is where you really like to see a Jawa. Um, but one unit is not going to cut it against Lando. Lando can just push you out. It's pretty much the epitome of not cutting it. Well, Lando actually pulls himself out, and then you focus down, and then he does his business. He does what he wants, what he really wants to do. Lando, as far as uh, card is concerned, I feel like it, it really nailed the theme of Lando. Is that a containment field over there? Yeah, no force icons. Could matter for the next turn since Javier's not going to commit that Trandoshan. Now, uh, Olivier is only going to have four resources here, but Javier also put himself in a weird spot because he now has four cards in his hand. So... Uh, could get stuck, potentially. Could get stuck. Oh, man, I see a Falcon with not enough resources to play it, so that's a bummer. Um, it's like Sleuth as well. Cloud City Operative. Tranition might be just what you need here. <laughs> just what you need it. <laughs> just really good to see Scum doing some work. Man, there's Jabba everywhere right now. Unbelievable. He's literally all over. Card sleeves, playmat. I can't handle how much Jabba this table. is. <laughs> it's a good looking mat. Yeah, it's a very good looking mat. And there's nothing cooler than a crime boss that looks like a slug. It's pretty much the epitome. They saved I, it for last. I mean, it's just it's just perfect. Olivia having to take some time here to really consider the options. Yeah, I mean, the real answer here is, ooh, just going for a four cost uh, four cost freeholder. Freeholder. See, I almost this is just me. Because I know I have the Falcon in hand, and I'm going to be able to play the Falcon next turn. I almost dropped the uh, Sleuth there and the Cloud City Operative, giving me two tactics to keep his board locked down. I guess he has two tactics because of the, the Freeholders. That freeholders is going to do similar things. Yeah, and four damage. It's it's similar similar line. I just like the Falcon into the Freeholders next turn. I also like Falcon and the Cloud City Operative next turn. Falcon into anything is... Uh, Falcon into anything free is great. Is awesome. All right, blocking with the uh, transition there. And that's going to give, if nothing else, Javier a uh, chance to clear the hand. One to three. He's going to swing for Prado's two. one, swinging for two. Hey, it's a start. And stays alive. Now, Javier is discarding a corrupt official there to cancel the three objective damage done from the freeholders, which is part of why I, I almost like the Sleuth Cloud City Operative route better, just from having multiple attacks multiple instead of vectors. put all tied into one. Corrupt official is your worst nightmare, by the way. It seems to be one of the greatest, uh, one of the greatest tools that Scum has received. Now that objective's still uh, going away. Was that trust me? Um, Was what trust me? The uh, uh, corrupt official can't be trust. Can't be trust me. No, he still got it. I don't know how. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, I think he. Uh, 
Did Lando him out? I had to force them more. No, you don't. No, no, no you didn't. I'm the only one committed to any force. What? I'm the only one that ever committed to any one of the force. Sure. Yeah. That's my opinion. Have a little uh, Death Star dial run down there. You gotta run that dial down sometimes. Yeah, I'm thinking it was a four, but it's actually at five because Javier's had balance the whole time. <coughs> I'm really, I'm, I'm still trying to work my way back to that corrupt official. I feel like I missed something important. Oh, he did it with Lando. Boom. <laughs> there it is. It was a different attack. <laughs> he slid an extra attack in on there. Too fast, too furious. Now, I see two Spice Visions in that hand, and that could be brutal. Like, a Zuckus Spice Visions here for tactics for days could be good. I'm trying to see what else he's got. It actually doesn't look like a great hand. Eek. <laughs> Eek. Oh, uh, there's Zuckus. I saw Zuck. The Zuck. Come on in. The now, Zuck. It's important to know. I think I was actually watching at this point and noted it and told him after because I hate when people interfere in a game. Uh, but Zuckus' reaction is once per engagement. Yep. So if you yep. Spice Visions, it seems fancy like you're going to get to do it twice, but you don't. It's not how that works. Unfortunate. Well, depending on who you ask. Freeholders and Lando sitting pretty over there. How are we feeling? How are you feeling about this so far, Zach? Dial's at five, one objective down. Uh, I mean, it, it could go either way at this point, honestly. Um, I like Zuckus here with Spice Visions. He's going to get a lockdown one of the two characters. Um, if he does double tactics, which is, I think, what he's going to do. He's also going to get to see the top cards of his deck and kind of... Like, Zuckus' reaction is very sneaky good in a sense that you don't realize how important plucking one out of the top three cards is and knowing yep. what the other two are. Yeah. That kind of draw manipulation is always great, especially in a game like Star Wars where that, that draw matters so much. It's the cards that you get. And that's it. It's Spice Visions, which is going to be three total damage. He's going to... Looking at the top three. Ooh, two targets, looks like. So he is triggering this twice, which is not how that works. Um, but it's like a still a very powerful ability. Looks like we see... A, I think it's a Bamboozle I saw on two targets. That's a tough one to choose. Yeah, so I, I don't. I think he's trying to keep units off the board. He didn't. He didn't take the target last time. He looked. <clears throat> Maybe he'll take it this time. So he's putting one on Jabba's Reach, one on Finesman. It's going to give him one to the Force, and it's also going to give him a reserve value of plus one. Not a bad. Not a bad deal at all. <clears throat> Lando's locked down, which is good. Um, he can still use his ability. I I think I prefer locking down the freeholders there. Just because they do, they do more damage. Way more damage. Yeah, Lando's ability is on all the time. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, one objective down here. We got a free holders. Lando being out and not dead is huge. Like, two trust me is being able to stop anything you could possibly do to capture Lando here. Um, very, very strong. I think Olivia is in a strong position here. Javier's only got two blockers. Yep. So, yep, it's not what you want to see in the morning. Especially knowing the target of opportunity that is nearby. He's going to get to just unload on one of these objectives. Yeah. Two of them. At edge least. one as well. Doesn't really care if he wins or loses the edge battle because Javier has no <coughs> tactics out. Um, yep. This is not looking awful for Javier. Or Olivier. Falcon swinging at Feinsman's. And Javier has got to know those target of opportunities are there. Now, here is where not knowing whether or not your opponent has corrupt officials is massive. That's true. Very true. So that's going to be enough to blow the objective up. Olivier is going to get that card back. Let's see what we got. Ah, uh, bamboozled, I think. Bamboozled. So now Falcon can bounce, uh, drop in. If he still has that operative, this is really strong because he can move that tactics off Lando onto one of Javier's blockers. Mm. Mm. Free, free holders on Jabba's reach there. He does still have the Cloud City operative. Um, has a target in hand. Looks like he's blocking 
I don't know who he's blocking with. So one or both? Both? Looks like both. Lando is gonna bump somebody. The he's bringing the freeholders out. out. It's the Lando hook. Oh no! So now both of Javier's blockers are gonna get focused down. Classic move. Ah. And uh, that should spell defeat. Classy the opera is gonna come in, unfocus Lando, and freeholders in Lando at an objective. Yep, looks like they're packing it up. It plays out. All right, well, there's the first round uh, for, of this match. Dials at five, which is kind of average, I feel like, these days. So we're going to switch up sides here. Uh, Javier versus Olivier over on the other side, and we'll see who's playing what. And uh, join us there, guys. Thanks for watching.